Here's a new study on red meat intake and cardiovascular disease risk. It included nearly 150,000 participants with an average age of about 60 from the Million Veterans Program cohort who were followed for up to eight years. It's also worth noting that the participants had a fairly large range in intakes of red meat with the lowest consumers eating less than a serving a week and the highest consumers eating two or more servings per day. They found that each serving of red meat consumed per day was associated with an 11% increase in risk of cardiovascular disease with both unprocessed and processed red meat being associated with an 8% and 11% increase in risk respectively. And this was after adjusting for potential confounding variables like age, sex, race, smoking, status, physical activity, and background diet. They also conducted substitution analyses and found that substituting just half a serving of red meat per day with nuts could lower the risk by 14%, substituting with whole grains could lower the risk by 7%, and substituting with either vegetables or skim milk could lower the risk of cardiovascular disease by 4%. And the results were fairly similar whether substituting unprocessed or processed red meat with the potential for a slightly larger effect when substituting processed meat. So this is yet another piece of evidence suggesting that limiting red meat, whether processed or unprocessed, is a smart choice when it comes to cardiovascular health.